everyone uh, this is the exclusive video for every sign stepping into the year of 2024 as I had uh, said in my previous sneak peek video of all the signs that I'll be talking about details of the new year so let's begin with Aries now um, let me first tell you how the year is panning out with the major planets which you are more or less uh, you know you know what is happening at this point of time so 2024 we'll see Jupiter because it is your 9th and 12th lot so let's begin with Jupiter it is a major planet and Jupiter will start fresh with the new year 2024 direct on your Lagna and uh, it will start from uh, Ashwini Nakshatra at 10 or 11 degrees. Now this is we can call the transit of Jupiter which um, is from the beginning of the zodiac. So it's a fresh cycle that Jupiter is starting. And it is really in the mode to give some results that we had been thinking or are expecting for the last whole year, but which did not fructify at all. Then in the 1st of May, Jupiter will go to Taurus, that is your second house and um, it will remain there for the whole year till the next year 2025. Then comes Saturn which is posited in your transiting in your 11th house and it will be there in Shatabhisha and uh, Purva Bhadrapada this whole year of 2024. So your 11th house and 2nd house is really having powerful influences this year. Rahu Ketu is there in the 6-12 axis. 6th Ketu is there, 12th Rahu is there and it will pan out uh, slowly slowly uh, Rahu will move from Revati to Uttar Bhadrapada and Ketu is now in Chitra it will move into Hasta so this is what 2024 main theme is and uh, very important for you is the Lagna Lord uh, see the smaller planets the outer planets always have a big say in our uh, every, every year Whether we run a Mahadasha or Antardasha or whatever they have a big say no doubt But the smaller planets like Mars uh, Is the most important because Mars is not only your Lagna lot, but it is also the uh, Dharti Putra it is the uh, soil that is the it is the karaka for the you know the earth so where we stay where we live that is very important on the soil so mars will start its journey from sagittarius uh, in the beginning of uh, the january it will be in sagittarius your ninth house so the journey will start from the ninth house then you know Mars stays in a sign for one and a half months then it will go to your 10th house, your 11th house, your 12th house and on the Lagna by June first week and from the Lagna it will start from June to the second house then third house then fourth house and as it will reach in its point of debilitation it will become retrograde also so uh, Mars uh, from the beginning of the year it will go in a very good space and it will provide you good results being your Lagna Lord but there are certain points where it will face certain other planets like in the 11th house it will face obviously Saturn then in the 12th house it will be facing Rahu these two are sensitive points uh, which Mars has to cross in this year and especially in the beginning of the year. Later when Mars from 1st June begins its journey in Aries it will be a new chapter for all the Aries people and then it will move into the second house of uh, Taurus and, and it will club with Jupiter. 
this is a very good yoga that you will be facing this year you will be having jupiter and mars together in the second house this is good rest of the planets are like mercury and venus which are um, obviously if you are running a dasha antar dasha you will get results belonging to that planet uh, the lordship of the planet uh, if it's mercury the third and the sixth house you will face results according to it and mercury as you know three times it will get retrograde also so that will also happen and uh, venus will continue its journey there is no retrogression for this year venus those uh, transits venus and mercury especially i'll be talking about in the transit videos mostly now let us talk about what is the main theme or the main focus that is your first is your profession which is very important for most of the people because we live on that second is our wealth second is uh, family relationships and then is our travel and health so these are the four categories that i'll be talking about in this video now let us begin with profession profession as you know we always see the daily jobs from the 6th house and the main professional achievements from the 10th house so see 10th house saturn is the lord and it's posited in the 11th house and 6th house you have currently a ketu transit going on so um the thing is that people aries people uh if you have been working on some long term projects for a long time and you are still not getting the results properly then uh, maybe you should question whether the proper kind of hard work or the proper kind of exact work has been given in that area or not if you are running a dasha antar dasha of saturn definitely you should get some good results from that planet because if you had been doing structured work for saturn for a very long period of time saturn will bestow you with good luck regarding your 10th house as it is transiting in the 11th house yes certain difference um, in the in the environment of the daily job if you are doing then can come up with ketu being in the 6th house and if you are running a mercury antar dasha or mahadasha then ketu being in the mercurial sign can give some difference some different environment in the 6th house see wherever the big planets are transiting whether it's rahu ketu saturn jupiter it will make its presence felt in that area definitely it will make its presence felt this i have seen so many times if not also you are running a dasha mahadasha those planets like ketu being in the 6th you will see in this 18 months of ketu uh, in your 6th house some differences will happen regarding your work environment whether you shift into a new place or you change your attitude of work towards it and all these things different things the the scenario can be different but some change in the 6th house will be felt by you because ketu will stay for very long in the 6th house 18 months that is up to 2025 so professional area will be good see ketu um, only issue with ketu is that because it is not exactly a planet of the 6th house though it works good in the upachya houses rahu ketu both they work good in upachya house but ketu is as we know is a moksha karak planet and it does not want to deal with the 6th house affairs it is more comfortable in the other axis rahu in the 6th and ketu in the 12th we know that but having said that ketu can fight with enemies and uh, it can definitely it it is a very razor sharp energy it can fight with its enemies and ketu in the 6th uh, is not a bad position at all in transit also and in lagna chart also it is not a bad position it makes you and especially in virgo maybe you become too concentrated um, into playing the things of the 6th house in your own way in a little typical of your way so it may happen you have to little bit here and there change the way 
you usually work in the sixth house because Ketu's way is little unusual. But it is not a bad transit. Ketu being in the sixth, Rahu in the twelfth. I'll come in the later in your uh, other things. But here, important in profession is Ketu in the sixth, and also your. Um, Saturn the 10th Lord being in the 11th. This two position it becomes very important and it is a good position. So hope if you have putting in good effort, if you have put in good effort till now, you will be um, reaping some good results from these, this area of your profession and daily job. That is the first point. Now uh, second comes your finances. Now, what to say about finance when Saturn is there in the 11th and also uh, Jupiter from your first house will go to your second house. Now, one thing here, as I told you, I'll be explaining a little bit more about the double transit of Jupiter and uh, Saturn. So, see Jupiter, Saturn, both as uh, Jupiter moves into your second money house, it will be aspecting your 8th house also, Scorpio. Saturn is constantly aspecting your 8th house. So, 8th house matters are becoming very prominent, very prominent. The whole year of 2024, you will see some of the other things related to the 8th house will come up. Now, this can be good also because see, as far as finances are concerned, second house Jupiter will be there from 1st of May. Then Saturn is there in the 11th house and both are aspecting the 8th house. Even Rahu is also aspecting the 8th house because I take the 5th and the 9th aspect of Rahu. So, all the three aspecting one house of Scorpio, obviously some change can happen, uh, some metamorphosis in that area, you, uh, you know, you change internally, you go through a change yourself because it is the Mars sign also, your Lagna Lord's own sign. And uh, what happens is that if you are uh, waiting for some inheritances, some tax related issues, some insurances, all these things or um, these these factors, uh, some uh, some deals of the, you know, because Mars is a uh, Bhumi Bahan. So some deal of the financial deals of the real estates uh, that uh, can come as forward, it can come up and you can uh, reap some benefit from from it if you are waiting for it also eighth house is the in-laws area also so it is it, it comes down to your relationships also here the relationship part is that the second house eighth house eleventh house fifth house all these are relationship second is the family our own family then eighth is our in-laws eleventh is our networking groups uh, and then your uh, fifth is your children all these things see uh, they are in a good condition yes uh, eighth house wherever scorpio is, because see this year the the transit is such that scorpio is getting all the aspects so one can understand easily that when such a thing is happening some transition we are waiting for definitely it will happen because scorpio the the main purpose of scorpio is to change a thing so that kind of a thing will happen some changes you will feel some uh, total you know rising from the phoenix you can feel that can happen second house is good if you want to start a family good if you uh, even uh, if you want to go for marriage second house that also you can add on to the family you know marriage is adding on to the family so that is also good venus transit this year it will be good there is no such glitches that much with venus so if you are there to go for a um, proceed towards a marriage because leo house your love affairs your children is also getting a good answer Aspect from Saturn Jupiter from the in the first half of the year so if that needs to culminate into a marriage that can also happen fructify if you are planning for children that is also good at this point of time uh, see any kind of family money expansion should happen for Aries in this year this is what I'm seeing in the transits if not the planetary arrangement in your horoscope is very bad and giving some kind of a very 
you know result which is totally unexpected that is a different scenario for that uh, we need to check the horoscope and details but otherwise uh, this year family extension uh, extending the family means marriage also or um, you know good uh, programs at home some auspicious things at home family should do good money your saving should good and your incomes also yes obviously saturn is not that kind of a planet which gives a very easy things happening if you have planned again and again i'm telling this if you have planned things well properly it will these results will start flowing in it will happen it will start flowing in the results and also your children can, uh, can also do good because uh, see jupiter is also the karak of children and we know that jupiter being with rahu and then retrograde for so long it was it was 2023 jupiter was not at all functioning well in any way so uh, this time it is good uh, starting fresh from your lagna and in the ashwini nakshatra then it will go to the second house um, it should be good it should be really good this time jupiter unless it, it goes retrograde that will that will take long jupiter retrogrades um, towards the end of the year not immediately not immediately it gets retrograde in the middle of october uh, and then it remains retrograde for 119 days so uh, till february 4th 2025 so till the mid of october you should have a smooth run regarding your family your resources your savings your good things your ninth house travel because jupiter also represents travel so if you want to travel mars will be there in the beginning of the year it will be in sagittarius only these things can happen so it is a good time for this um Saturn will go retrograde in the middle of the year 30th June to 15 November 139 days as it usually goes so see retrograde phases as we all know that it is a little slow phase and it is again it helps us to look back to whatever things we are we want to rectify we want to repeat it again certain things was not done properly so that is the theme of the retrograde but otherwise it is a good run for Jupiter and Saturn this year also now let me talk about your lagna lord which is very important because see mars is because as far as your health and travel profession money is concerned everything mars will have a say this year now see mars in the first week of january it will start its uh, journey from sagittarius and till the uh, february first middle week it will be in conjunction with venus mercury in the 9th house of sagittarius this is the journey of mars that is starting from january so it will be in conjunction with venus and mercury in the 9th house it is a very good time to travel with your partner also because venus is the 7th lord for you so 7th lord going into the 9th and also mars you joining the 9th and mercury is also travel it should be good travel for educational purpose for other pilgrimages whatever you want to do it is a good because jupiter also will be aspecting this area then mars will move into capricorn in the middle of february and it will remain there with venus for a long phase of time now here capricorn see lagna lord going into 10th house getting exalted from the mid of february to one and a half months it will remain there this is a very good time to utilize if you want to you know Uh, go for uh, if you if if you want to develop certain different skills in the professional area or you will feel very energized i have seen whenever mars gets exalted in the 10th house anyway mars position in the 10th house is good anyway and if it gets exalted for your case as it is getting in the 10th house please utilize this time very well mars video i'll be putting the transit videos later because see transit is the only time we can take the full advantage of the planets that's why it is important to know the transit now when mars goes into the 11th house with saturn that will be the mid to third week of april so there will be venus mars saturn three together in the 11th house see this mars saturn combination yes it it flares up certain things but the 11th house is such a house it can handle that kind of an energy i don't think it will be a very bad condition uh, and especially the 
yeah one thing is that uh, your net your income and all things will be good if, when mass will be going to the 11th but yes certain things regarding some relations in the 11th house some people can have a sweet bitter relationship with your networking people that can happen because mars and saturn so different energy see this conjunction is dreaded but i whenever i see this conjunction it doesn't make me fear about it but uh, I, it's a very different kind of a conjunction mars Mar without mars saturn also is very you see saturn is very cold and mars is very hot fiery planet so actually it helps saturn you know putting things because saturn is a little slow and mars want to push it towards to take the goals so this is not a bad condition just uh, yeah be a little cautious not to go overboard don't keep because then only after that after this transit completes mid of april to may end mars will be going into your 12th house here lies a little bit of problem because here is the creation of an angarak yoga with rahu and mars here um, 12th house is a very you know very it is a piscean pisces house right and mars rahu too much of energy for that house to uh, adapt to so be cautious when mars and saturn is there in the 11th so that two things you don't uh, go into a loss at that point of time because see whenever 12th rahu is there you want to go for some kind of investment and all these things then 8th house is getting all the aspects you want to invest your money but remember that rahu can bring sudden game changes in the 12th house that is the reason when mars also joins rahu in the 12th house one must be very cautious and regarding the health also here i come up with your health issues see the health is a as travel is important profession family money everything should be going more or less as per your plan if you have planned the things well it will work out well this time but the thing is that when your health is not good because the main thing about health is 6th 8th 12th should not be overcrowded and should not have too many planets or the lagna is not getting a bad aspect now whenever jupiter will subside from the lagna saturn will be totally aspecting with its niche drishti on the lagna this is a problem that can create sudden health issues sudden depressions it can bring in it can especially if you have a aries moon it can directly aspecting the moon with the niche drishti can cause problem from saturn eighth house getting too much energy from three planets through aspect only but still it is getting energy sudden um, health problems can crop up which you are not ready for that thing can happen so keep a watch on the health and when 12th rahu is there when mars joins maybe for the betterment health also some kind of you know sudden accidents hospitalizations these things these things can happen again it can happen there also that you travel about abroad and you wanted to get settled in the long distant places foreign places that can also fructify so this is what i wanted to say regarding the mars transit in with rahu in pisces uh, from the mid of april to the end of may now once it uh, june month comes mars is in dignity full dignity on your lagna but remember it is aspected by saturn again from lagna it will go to the second house after one and a half month this is also a very good transit because second house is a house of money and mars your own lagna lord with uh, jupiter in the second really should good do do good and if you have at least one dasha anta dasha something running then this will be you will understand that you have uh, gained or uh, gained by saving or you know by accumulating or whatever third house mars though it's in gemini but it's not bad because third house mars uh, gives a lot of courage lot of decision making abilities now by the end of the year november mars comes into debilitation here uh, some problem will be there which um, see this debilitation of mars is very um, peculiar this year it will become debilitated it will become retrograde it will go back to gemini by 2025 again come back for debilitation it's a long process so i this is this calls for a long video let's not immediately discuss this but ultimately by the end of the year 2024 understand that mars will end his journey by getting debilitated in your fourth house 
so uh, this is the journey of your lagna lord so overall the year is good it will uh, form different pockets of energy especially in the 9th 10th 11th 12th you have to be cautious then in the first second third so see all the good houses are getting activated it is good slowly because see if we give you good things to if one get good things to it all together it's difficult but in pockets it becomes easy you know to grasp the, those energies and then move forward in the year so it is it should be a really very fructifying year as the year pans out from the beginning only it should start showing you some result which i really want for the aries people because many people of the aries uh, lagna moon have uh, told me that uh, saturn's aspect 11th house saturn not to get proper money has little bit diminished some problem with the networking area has started because jupiter ninth house fortune is not showing up properly to them so i think by this year you will start realizing that things are getting better for you so your profession life your wealth your family your children and all these are should be better and good and even more better like that it should happen only health area should be uh some kind of you know check on your health is required all throughout the year not only one time all throughout the year you must keep a check on your health so hope i am able to explain you uh, what i wanted to say regarding this year 2024 have a good year ahead thank you friends